The Expand Stroke feature in Affinity Designer allows you to expand the stroke of a shape or line and convert its boundaries into newly editable paths within a closed shape. There are a few examples of how this can be useful, so let's take a look at this first circular design we have here. If we resize these using the Move tool, we can see that the stroke widths remain the same regardless of their new sizing, and in doing so also reveals white spaces in between each of our circles. We can change this by ensuring Scale with Object is selected within the Stroke panel. This will automatically adjust the width of each of our circles and make sure our design stays the same regardless of its size. As this is a temporary setting, you may want to ensure your strokes are permanently set instead. So we can do this by going to Layer and Expand Stroke. Now you'll notice that our circular strokes have been transformed and all of our previous stroke data has been removed. And we have these new adjustment nodes available to us. This allows us to change the characteristics of the shape by selecting the node tool and interacting with them. Or we might even change them to having stroke information again to help us create something new like this design here. Another example to show you is with this simple lettering design. When we use expand stroke on a shape with both a fill and a stroke setting, these two elements then become separated. In this case, we can use these new expanded stroke layers to create an interesting 3D print effect by offsetting the outline with the original fill layer like we have here. And I can just use my arrow keys to position that as intended, which is also a good example of something you wouldn't be able to do normally without making duplicate layers and involving lots of other steps. In this last example, I just wanted to show you how you might combine the expand stroke feature with our Boolean options as well. With this branding concept, you can see that when we resize with scale with object turn off, our lines become distorted, like in our initial circles example. So another way we can transform these lines into one single curve layer is by making sure they're all selected with the move tool, like we have here, then going to layer and expand stroke to convert all of our curves again. Now we can see all of these newly expanded shapes individually overlapping each other. So I'll make sure everything is selected again, and we can go over to layer, geometry, and add, or we can use our Boolean add icon at the top of the toolbar here instead. Now we can see that this logo has been converted into one single shape. We can now freely resize our logo regardless of our object scale settings inside the stroke panel. So that was a quick run through some of the benefits to using the expand stroke feature and some of the ways you might use it in your design work. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.